Good morning, friends. It's Saturday morning. Hello. I hope you are doing well. My birthday is in one week. Well, less than a week. It's Friday. I'm going to turn 54. So I decided to give myself a weird. Sorry. I think that's big boy. I decided to give myself a weird birthday present. I know it's going to sound super strange. What did I say to give myself? Well, I've been him hauling about, you know, how we've changed our diet. We've cut out the seed oils. We've cut out the processed foods. We've eliminated a lot of things from our diet. So I have decided I've wanted to try this for a while and I've been him hauling back and forth to do it. But I'm going to, for one week, do a carnivore diet. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about these diets, and I know that uh, people that have said good things about it, people say bad things about it, but I'm gonna try it for myself and see what happens. Now, my son, Mason, already follows a carnivore diet, so when I cook, he just eats the meat that I prepare. So what is a carnivore diet, you may ask? Well, it's kind of just like it sounds, where you eat meat. So you can have meat, poultry, seafood, you can have some dairy, like butter. You can have um, some heavy cream, and you can have some hard cheese, and of course, eggs, fish, those things. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, is it gonna be hard? Yes, but I'm up for the challenge. I want to do it. I want to see how my body reacts, how my blood sugars react. So I have uh, did my weight this morning, and I wrote it down. I also did a couple measurements here on the big girl to see what changes happen in a week. Am I going to stay with it? I don't know. I mean, after the week is up. Hopefully, I can get through the week. I'm going to keep an eye on my blood sugars, eye on my blood pressure. Now, part of the reason that I wanted to do this, and I asked Brock to join me, is the last couple of days he's had some slight inflammation. Not bad but he's had some inflammation come back where he hasn't before. So the last two days he had inflammation, we had salad. So he had um, the lettuce and of course ranch dressing. So homemade ranch that I made. So we're trying to figure out, is it the lettuce? And I know that sounds crazy that lettuce can cause you inflammation, but honestly, my husband is the most, he has the weirdest system of anybody probably around or the ranch dressing. Now I'm going to say it's more than likely the ranch dressing, the dairy. So he too is gonna to join along in the carnivore. So all of the family is going to do this. And um, for a week, I'm gonna do it for a week till my birthday. So this is a birthday gift to myself. I'm gonna be 54. So let's give myself a little gift of health, hopefully. And improvement I still have been feeling really good um, so you know I have my own challenges I'm a diabetic I'm premenopausal with this age so I'm trying to see if um, I feel even better so we're gonna find out so what I'm gonna do if you want to join along maybe you would are interested in this eating lifestyle and maybe you're not maybe you just want to follow along see what happens to me <laughs> and that's fine I hope you do. I'm interested to see what happens to me also. So I've been, you know, going back and forth. I'm like, just do it, Krista. It's a week. Anybody could do anything for a week. Do it the week before your birthday and then celebrate your results or, or failures, whatever happens. I'm not going to say I'm going to fail because I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. Am I going to be perfect? No, I'm still learning all of this. But... I am going to succeed and make it through the week. All right, so give, you know, forgive me. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a professional. So I may do some things wrong that maybe some of you are already on this diet and you'd be like, mm -mm. but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna keep researching and we're gonna see how Brock's um, inflammation does also. So like I did before when I eliminated all the processed foods and all of that stuff, I will update you on how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, and what I'm eating. And there you have it. I'm kind of excited, really, honestly. I'm excited to see. Um, 
at, you know, if I feel any better than I do now because I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go do my one mile walk. I'm still committing to that. I am going to um, come back later today and show you what I'm going to eat when I eat, what I'm having. And um, so I, I don't know. I've got to go to work tonight, so I don't know if this video will be loaded up today or tomorrow. So they might be a day behind, and I may be able to, you know, post these the same day. So there you have it. This is what I'm going to do. Stick around, stay around, hang out with me, and let's do this together. And if you want to do it, you know, as anything, you know, talk to your doctor or whatever before you do anything. As my dad used to say, don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> Which I, never really made sense to me, but that's what he used to say. All right, I'll see you later, friends. So it's day one. Here's my first meal. It's about 1130 in the morning. I have some super lean sausage that I cooked on my flat top and I have some deviled eggs. I get tired of eggs really quickly. So I just make these with some heavy cream, a little bit of mustard, salt, pepper, and of course, a little bit of paprika. And there you have it. There's my first meal, day one. Just got in from work. So I forgot to take my camera with me to work to film what I had for dinner. I had two chicken sausages. They were about the size of a bratwurst. That's all I had. And I had those around uh, 7.15. So I'm surprised. Day one went pretty smooth. I'm not hungry. I'm not really craving anything. So it's going well. So I will keep you up to date. There you have it. Day one finished on to day two. So I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by, friends.